Hey guys, it's Bob Morielli here with The Tuning School, and today we are doing something totally different and new, but it is by request from you guys. So we are doing an unboxing video. We've got the brand new Pro Charger D1X. So stick around and check it out. Hey guys, welcome back. So today I'm going to have our new assistant Dalton to come on down and he's going to hand me all of the items out of the Pro Charger D1X box. So Dalton, take it away. All right, cool, so now that we have everything out on the table from the box, let's go ahead and go through it. We'll kind of start over here. I got some stuff that was too big for the table, but starting with the shroud here, we have this really cool shroud. All right, Pro Charger embossed. All right, all right, so here we've got a body panel, right hand side, You're holding this upside down completely. But yeah, it'll be like this. All right, here we go. And let's see here. Let's start with the cooler. We have an extra oil cooler here. Very cool. Packet, obviously, gonna be some important stuff in here. Guys, take note, actually read those directions. All right, here we have the crank pinning kit here, which is really cool. So if you'll notice, they actually include everything here all the way down to the drill bit to pin the crank. Now, pinning the crank is important because when you actually put a supercharger on, if you don't pin the crank, the actual pulley will tend to want to spin on the crank snout, which is really, really bad. So the goal behind this would actually be to pin it so that none of them can rotate independently of one another. So the fact that they give you this entire kit is actually really cool. All right, we'll go through the belts real quick. Got a new AC belt and a primary drive belt. This is a six rib system. And what do we have here? Oil pack. All right, so I think I saw an extra one here, I did. So we've got several bottles of the supercharger oil. Yep, that's what this is here. Got a couple of uh, bottles of the stuff. Okay, there you go, Dalton. Crank bolt. M16-2. Let me just flip this around so you can actually see it better. Right, moving on, we have the oil drain line. Very cool, so this is a braided stainless oil drain line. Okay, next we have the six rib main brackets. All right, so this bracket looks cool, but we're gonna have to actually open it just to see. Bracket. More bracketry. All right. Let's open this one up. This one won't be nearly as difficult. So this is an example of what we have in here. Just to open this guy up too. Much more serious pulley on this one. There we go. Pretty cool. All right, and we have a lot of items in here. So we have some standoffs, some bolts, more pulleys, more of them as well. And a belt tensioner. Very cool. All right, keep this bag together. Go Dalton. Thank you. All right, next we have the surge system, which I believe includes this cool blow off valve here. Very cool. Um, since we're here working on brackets, let's just move on to the next one here. This is one of the mains. 
which is really neat. All right. Christmas time is here. All right, let's go through a couple of the up pipes, charge pipes, things like that. So we've got some more three and a half tubes. These are three and a half inch diameter. Very cool. As you can tell, our kit's all blacked out, which I really like. Okay. We got the awesome license plate to scare away the Mustangs. Sorry, it's gotta be a Ford joke in every video, guys. All right, so we have the C6 miscellaneous bag. You can tell we're doing work on a GM because there's zip ties involved. See, Ford guys, I got your back. C6 stage two air inlet bag. Okay, so this would be a, uh, uh, what do you call this thing? <laughs> silicone hose, thank you. I had to read the directions to get my brain to work on that one. Silicone hose, yes, they include the silicone hoses that we're gonna need here. Very cool. All right, now we have the C6 Corvette Stage 2 cooling bag. So I'm gonna guess this is all the stuff related to actually getting the coolant where it belongs. And when you do this, make sure you don't do like I just did and accidentally puncture your hose. Didn't actually puncture the hose, but it came close. So we've got our heater hose and all of the T's required. We've got more of the clamps. Accessories to make the cooling system happy. There's a lot of them, by the way. A ton of them, a whole bunch of stuff here. All right, next up, C6 Stage 2 PS bag. I'm gonna guess power steering. I'm gonna be careful on my cutting here. Yep, all right, this is really cool. So. A lot of times when you're putting a blower on or a turbo or whatnot, plumbing is a huge problem, right? But as you can tell, they've kind of thought of everything with the proper uh, quick fit ends and everything that actually will mate up with the factory stuff. So this is what saves you tons of time, which is why you buy a whole kit, a complete kit. We have a bunch of the fittings here. Uh, bracket, some other hardware miscellaneous hose and whatnot. All right. That's really cool. There you go. Good luck putting that back together. All right, we have our air filter. That's going to sit flush right up and in with the new cowl that they gave us that we showed you in the very beginning of the video here. Now, we're going to get a couple of small accessories here. This is actually the filter that goes on the end of the blow off valve. All right. Next up, we have some, this is the Corvette uh, rubber intercooler air dam. All right, so this is clearly to block the passage of air or to insulate. All right, good deal. Okay. Actually, since we're here, let's just get this big one out of the way. So this guy right here is actually the replacement uh, radiator subframe. So you can see these holes right here. This is where it actually bolts into for the radiator and it has new bracketry to realign everything to fit everything together. Kind of cool. Uh, I should tell you, it's actually quite light. It's made of aluminum. So everything here is light and good to go. There you go, Dalton. All right, so the last bag we have here, probably the biggest single bag, has all of our intercooler hoses, um, clamps, and things of that nature. Cut a small hole there. Some bracketry for the intercooler. So you see like we have some hoses that are pretty big. This hose all by itself flows more air than two Ford motors. Did you know that Dalton? Just kidding. All right. I like Fords, don't get mad. A lot of these, very good. Tons of T-clamps here. So we could see, let's see if we can get you a close up on these, but let me open it first. T-clamps I like. 
The reason I like T-clamps is because aside from a worm gear clamp, and, and these will actually clamp and hold, the typical worm gear clamps tend to distort when you get um, a lot of tension on them. So as these draw down, they draw down evenly around the whole uh, diameter here. So it'll actually collapse the hose correctly around the whole diameter internally here. Uh, the worm gears can do it, but they tend to distort as you get super tight. And then you need a lot of, uh, you actually have a lot of problems with them because when you get up in boost, the worm gear clamps tend to just blow off. So we have really nice stuff here, good hardware. And I think there's just a couple last little pieces here. Intercooler bracketry, more hoses, and uh, some hardware. All right. We can leave the head unit for last. So let's talk about the intercooler for a second here. Done with the knife for now. All right, so we have this awesome intercooler that's actually gonna lay flat in our installation. I don't think it does on all installations, but on the ones I've seen, it definitely lays flat. Um, in our particular installation, we have a um, oil cooler that we're gonna relocate from a C6 Z06 because we do a lot of road course racing and a lot of dyno time with our vehicles. So um, if you want to actually learn tuning, this is one of the vehicles you'll be able to learn on and we have this awesome D1X Pro Charger on it. So high efficiency, cooler, intercooler, great core, beautiful welding. When you're actually looking at the um, quality stuff versus the cheap stuff you find on places like eBay, intercoolers are especially prone to it. Um, take a close look at the welds. That'll tell you Number one, uh, was the guy in a hurry that put this thing together? And number two, is it really going to have a bunch of leaks all over the place? So the core here is probably the most important part. And then, um, like I said, the quality of all the components around it is really why you pay to have good stuff here. Because one of the things you definitely don't want to have is a very inefficient intercooler. Um, the reason being is you can put 10 pounds of boost on the inlet and only have six pounds of boost on the outlet. And so that would tell you that you have leaks on your intercooler core or your intercooler, and then, or it could just be super inefficient. So with something like this, you're not gonna have that pressure drop that uh, you really just don't want because then you have to really turn up the boost on your blower in order to get the output that you want. So this is a really nice intercooler. I'm really happy to have that thing going in. And then last but not least, is the new Core Charger D1X. So, what is special about the new D1X? Well, you guys have been running Pro Chargers forever, have uh, been very familiar with the P1 and the D1 SC, and then you had the one big step up to an F1. So before, if you really wanted to make like a thousand horsepower, you really wanted to get an F1, whereas now you can do that with this. This is actually rated to a thousand horsepower, and the way they've accomplished this, they've actually, um, they've actually had guys making between uh, 100 and 100 and I think 70 more horsepower with this over the old D1 SC, so the model it replaces. And what they've done is they've uh, redesigned the impeller here. Um, and we've got some pictures of that or you can look it up online, the two impeller designs between the D1 SC, the old one, and the D1X. Uh, and this grabbed a lot more air. They've also internally here increased the uh, volume of the uh, Volute. That's the, this component right here is called the Volute. And what that will do is be less restrictive as it grabs that air and then spins it out into the intercooler and then ultimately into your engine. So uh, flowing a lot more air from the same uh, blower here means we're gonna see a lot more power than we would with a standard D1SC. There's already been guys with the uh, new P1X and the D1X that are running eights and nines and uh, they've typically picked up a half a second on their ETs. One of them even picked up like 12 miles per hour on the trap speed, just going from like a D1SC to a D1X. And we're not even talking about a big F series. So um, in terms of streetability, drivability, power when you want it all around, um, we're gonna put this on our C6 and really have a blast with it. But I highly recommend you check these things out because it is a complete package from start to finish. And I think you could probably put it in in a weekend if you try. All right, so I hope you've enjoyed this unboxing video. Uh, if you're interested in doing an upgrade from your D1SC to your D1X, you should contact ProCharger. From what I hear, it's a direct swap. Uh, and if you're interested in following us on our journey of uh, installing this onto our C6 Corvette, check back on our YouTube channel. We'll have the whole video showing everything from the start to the installation, 
to the finish with our before and after dyno numbers from no supercharger to the new D1X, and we'll give you some power levels at different boost outputs as well. So thanks for watching, and uh, for more high performance tuning knowledge, be sure to follow us on uh, social media, like us on Facebook, and as always, stay tuned. If y'all enjoyed this video, make sure that you hit the subscribe button, check out these other awesome videos, as well as these products and our website.